Hello guys, it's Rosie the Nani here. I'm at Bibbs Technical College and uh, these are ladies pursuing a course at uh, in uh, home care giving and I want to give them a chance because I've been there in Arab countries and I know a little bit. I want to give them a chance of asking any question they feel like asking, starting from you. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Rosie. Mm -hmm. Kwa mfano mimi nimesafiri mhm mm nimefika hapo hapo kwa nyumba mhm mm sijaelewa ile lugha ya kuongea Kiarabu mm -hmm. na madam ananiongelesha mambo ya watoto fanya hivi fanya hivi na na mimi sielewi ile lugha na fanya ah uh, hapo una unaangalia anga you sasa zingine nakubidi utumie signs language lazima ikwe a barrier on the first day because ni mtu mjaelewana na yeye amjalelewa pamoja ujui but kulingana na venye atakuwa naongea where you will just read the lips hakunaanga vingine shortcut uta utaendelea tu as you lazima utapata mtu mmoja aidha anaongea kiingereza kidogo si kile kam, kikamilifu lakini kidogo so wewe utakuwa na combine kiarabu unakombanisha na kizungu then you will find how to when you tuna maneuver ikishindikana sign language eh asante eh next assalamu alaikum wa alaikum salam madam rose ni mko na swali mhm mm pengine kuna ile umeenda kule mhm mm ushafikisha pale kwenye nyumba mhm sasa kuna mtu mwenye atakuonyesha zile kazi jinsi unafanya ama ni ile kwenye umesoma huko ndio unaenda kufanya kule Ah uh, that's why unakuja shuleni hapa Bibs Technical College usome kuanza ile masomo yenyewe unafundishwa unafaa kuitilia maana ni sana kwa kuwa that is what you are going to find out there pale upatangi ni rare sana upate mtu mwenye atakufundisha kazi Inga, ingawa kuna wenye wako na wafanyikazi wengine watakufundisha lakini ukianguke nyumba yenye umeanguka umejipata peke yako ni ile tu masomo yenyewe umesomea hapa ndio itakusaidia kule mbele kwa ajili hapa sasa mnatufundishwa almost everything how to use washing machine how to take care of kids when you are around uh, when you are with them when you need to handle kila kitu unafundishwa hapa yes nakuona mm -hmm. asalamu alaikum wa alaikum salam rose mm -hmm. kuna swali nataka kukuuliza mm -hmm. sasa mfano umeenda kule warabuni mm -hmm. alafu hapo kule waitikwa na watabaza kushikashika ama na kuangalia kama na ile ya sex eyes <laughs> utapata fursa hizi zama ndafanyaje mpaka aache hizo tabia first how you present yourself when you naji present inaongelelea much about you pale ukienda kufanya kazi umeenda kwa lengo ngapi lengo moja inaitwa only one objective ama ni one one objective yeah? that is working and earning money so how you present yourself ukijivalisha hivi hivi una attract si hata inzi ukiweka chakula hapa inakuja ikikula mm -hmm. lakini ukifunika itakulaje mm -hmm. sasa ukipata nyumba yenye mwanaume umepata kila mwanaume ni, ni mlafi when it comes to the eyes they they, are, they get attracted to what they see mm -hmm. so ukiwa umejivalisha unajibana vizuri unajitanda that is ukianguke nyumba ya waislamu kamili kamili unaji tanda vizuri unavaa nguo zenye zikubani those are avoidable circumstances hizo unaweza zuia unaona lakini ukipata mwanaume mwenye unavaa vizuri umejistiri vizuri kuna wale penye utu tamaa baada na kuangalia uona na persist ana persist utabidi upige ofisi ifanye nini ikurudi ikutoe kama ni kitu inaendelea inaendelea ikiendelea sawa eh Asante. Na pengine kuna temu ya kwenda msikitini ama kwa swali hapo hapo nyumbani kama oh. anakuruhusu kuswali ama ni wewe wengine wao wapendwa watu wa swali. Okay, kuswali waislamu wanapenda kuswali kwa nyumba, wa Arabu wanapenda kuswali kwa nyumba. They have specific place meant for prayers. Ukiwa Muislamu is nice because utaswali na wao. Siwe ni Muislamu mnaswali wewe unakuwa na mati yako obvious Muislamu anakuangala kamati kadogo kake kakuomba room yako pale ndio unaswali unapiga sala zako una nini wewe ndio utajiarrange venye utaswali Ona umesema kuwa mtu asivae nguo zinakubana 
lakini tunaona most people wakienda kule kuna hizi uniform wanavaa sasa zile uniform tunyonavaa sitema ten trousers na blouse mm. si zile zinaonyesha mwili ama huwa zinashonwa vipi za waarabu kuna venye zinashonwa long imeku ime, kwamba wanakununulianga kubwa mm. ni kumaanisha wataki mtu ame umejua nikikununulia nguo kubwa na nikuletee ni kumaanisha staki mwili yako ni yaone nataka uvae vizuri kule kuna bibi na bwana the moment unavaa vibaya una attract bwana ya wenyewe so malongi zao zinakwanga kama hii alafu na shati imekuwa kubwa na zinakwanga kubwa sana yenye hata utoshe ita take time mm. na wakiona imeanza kukubana watakuletea tena zingine mm, okay, mm-hmm. mm. wakana nimefika hapo kwa nyumba sasa sijui kupika ile chakula chakula cha kuchawa yani mm wana kufundisha kujinsi ya kupika ama mnatumia vipi mpaka wewe na wewe unajua kupika zile chakula kwa maana chakula ziko different chakula ya Kenya na chakula ya nini ya kwa Arabu eh niko na imani hapa bibs uh, niko na kika rada hapa bibs technical college watawafundisha hivyo eh. kupika venye utaenda ku, ku, kutayarisha chakula ya Arabu so si niko na swali Usema umefika kule unapata tuseme ama unapata kama kana mtoto yani kule watoto. Mm. Na unapata kitoto kisirani chenye kisikii wakiambia ni bado utakupiga macho kile vitu cha kurusha. <laughs> yani wakanacho vipi ama control vipi? Uh, mtoto uh, kitu nasemanga kuhusu mtoto ni mtoto you learn the weakness. Unajua mtoto anapenda nini na anachukia nini. Ile kitu yenye anapenda ni venye tu watu wajui ile kitu yenye mtoto anapenda ndio unatumia kuingia kwa mtoto kama anapenda kucheza mpira mama usijibane cheza mpira huko ukishafika huko unakuwa mtoto ukubwa unaacha wapi Kenya eh wewe ukubwa una, una apply tu kwa kazi uhandle vitu zako kama mtu mkubwa lakini when it comes to dealing with kids you play like a kid hiyo utaingiana na wao akikufanyia ya leo na anajua anapenda mpira na umecheza na yeye mpira atakuchukia leo kesho kesho nyingine atakuchukia tena hiyo kesho nyingine atakupenda kwa jili unapenda kitu yeye anapenda sawa na kuelewa na wengine sawa. ukipata tena mtu mwenye kichwa kichwa ngumu itabidi sasa uishi tu na yeye ndio <laughs> kuna you avoid trouble yani una avoid tu unasikia linatoka na huku negativity uziweweka kwa kichwa chako ukienda kwa warabu kuna wengine wenye wanaenda unapata unaitwa monkey i was once called a monkey nilikuwa na lia nafanya kazi na lia saa zingine na lia na lia narudi na sema hey mimi shida zangu ndio zimenileta huu nafanya kazi na nafanya kazi swali lingine mm usema umeenda kule ume usema umeandikisha tuseme uenda kufanya kwenye nyumba moja mm. afu kifika huko kuna mtu anakuambia sijui ndio kwa mama mku ama tuende kwa shangazi kwa aunti ukamsafishie na hiyo nayo wewe uki sign contract i normally tell ladies the moment unapanda ndege uko na karatasi hiyo karatasi isome yote uelewe ni kazi gani unaenda kufanya the moment unafika kwa nyumba ya mwarabu ukijua ni nini na kupeleka kule inakuanga easy to fight for what you know though utamwambia mimi contract yangu inasema nisifanye hivi inafanya inasema nikae kwa nyumba hivi lakini na polite language Nyumba ya Mwarabu kienda usikuwe na kiburi. Na ndio hapa Bips Technical mm. tunawafunza Kiarabu kidogo. Mm. Ndio ile contract yako kabla utoke hapa. Hapa utafunzwa utafunzwa mavazi, utafunzwa hizo maupishi zote, utafunzwa hadi Kiarabu kidogo ndio hiyo contract yako kabla uende huo umeielewa kabisa. Hey. So this is part of training na ndio unaona tunaanza hii ndio wiki ya kwanza masomo yanaanza ndio unaona nyumba yenye tumekaa hivi ijatengenezwa kikenya imetengenezwa kiarab so vitu zenye tutakuwa tukisoma nazo huku kwa bips technical college zote zitakuwa zinaandamana na zenye utapata kule kwa mwarabu na maswali yote uko na rozi uko na walimu uko na mimi madam sisi wote tashikana kwa hii muda kidogo hadi uelewe moja kwa moja. Sawa. Sawa. Mm-hmm. Na kwa pale kwa nyumba kwa Mwarabu, mm-hmm. sasa kuna popote kuna 
mama ni mzee wala ni kikongwe nafaa kumwangalia vipi yule na uje zoea kuishi na mtu kama huyo mkongwe wafusijua nataka kukungwa pampa maybe e, nataka kuangaliwa yani unakana vipi si wengine wazee wana harufu zingine huwa yani umeshine vipi mtu kama huyo mtu kama huyo utafundishwa hapa bibs technical college wako na course ya care giving we are fall under care giving because you will be taking care of the, that kind of person so hapa ukiwa hapa watakupewa kufundisha wakupe certificate you will be professionally doing hiyo hivyo venye unasema so utakuwa na idea lakini hmm. contract yako lazima yasiwe imeandamana umetoka hapa kwenda kuangalia ule mgo mgonjwa si ah, si ka, si house management na care giving so ndio unasikia kuna uh, home nani na kuna and by the way intake bado inaendelea karibuni mufanye course ya home care and caregiving welcome all nawapenda nawapenda tunawakaribisha karibuni sana karibuni